So my idea that I just had in that last video was to talk about books that inspired me to become a writer. I love writing a lot. It's something that I tried to pursue a lot more as a kid, but every time I tried to write a book or I tried to write, you know, even a short story, I always got so far into it that at some point I would just give up because I was scared to finish it or I just I didn't have the drive to finish it. But it was these books that I'm about to show you are ones that, after reading them, I would just go right back into it. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I can write a book. Totally. If I can read these books, and these are really awesome books, then I can totally write a book just as amazing. The first book is, of course, the Harry Potter series, but more specifically, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is probably one of my favorite ones, this one, and The Prisoner of Azkaban. Actually, Prisoner of Azkaban is more my favorite one, but I really like Chamber of Secrets, too. These books just inspired the heck out of me. You can see, you know, how worn out these spines are. These are, like, my really old, really, really old copies from back when I was, like, seven. And these definitely got a lot of wear and tear out of them, especially the third one. Look at that. Ouch. Sorry. I also have the nice new 15 year anniversary editions of these books. I also have the first one. Every time I read these books, I just, I wanted to keep writing, you know? This world that J.K. Rowling created was so immensely magical. It just throws you into this whole other world that you just can't help but love. If I could, I could, I would live in the Wizarding World. So many of us would. I probably have more Harry Potter merchandise. Well, not anymore, but in my room, I used to have so much Harry Potter merchandise, and now it's all Disney merchandise. I'm getting off topic. Every time I read these books, I would just put it down, and I would just start writing again. And it was always about, you know, a girl who discovered she had magical powers, or magical beings, or fairies, or, you know, whatever, crazy nonsense. So if you're looking for some writing inspiration, you know, good old JK. The next one I read probably, I think, when I was like 10 or 11, and it was How My Private Personal Journal Became a National Bestseller. It's by Julia de Villers, and you've probably seen a remake of this as a movie on Disney Channel. It's called Read It and Weep. and it's about a girl, Jamie, who writes, you know, this little story as her diary and then it accidentally gets published in her school newspaper and then it becomes published as a book and it just becomes this best-selling novel. And so this is all about her life and how her world goes from cloud nine to like cloud zero. And it's really cute. It's a short little read. But I always liked it because it was it was about, you know, a young, at the time when I read this book, I was a preteen, it was about a young preteen girl who became a best-selling author. So every time I read this book, I would get inspired because I'm like, she wrote a best-selling novel, why can't I? So it's really cute, and I actually watch the movie as well whenever I get a little discouraged writing-wise because I see her writing, and I'm like, oh, her writing looks like so much fun, I want to go write, so... Go check that out if you like preteen dorky novels. The next book is another one from my, I guess, elementary school-ish days. I'm, I'm gonna guess probably around 5th or 6th grade. Um, it's by Flavia Bajor, and it's called The Prophecy of the Stones. Uh, this book was written when she was only 15 years old. And I always found that to be really, really inspirational, especially because I really enjoyed this book. And I'm pretty sure that this is the only book she ever published, which is a little upsetting for me because uh, I sound awful because I'm sick. This, this story, I just, it's so magical. It's about three girls, Jade, Opal, and Amber, who inherit, they're from like these three different lands, and they inherit these stones that are a Jade, Opal, and an Amber and they discover that they have to find each other in order to stop this crazy madness evil that's gonna happen to the world and it's really interesting and it's got nice little paper edges that's nice oh gosh <laughs> this was probably one of my main inspirations when I was younger every time that I felt like you know my writing wasn't good enough or that my story lacked everything 
I would just go back and I would read this book and I guess like with the other book it's another one of those this is a 15 year old girl who wrote a national best-selling novel if she can do that damn skippy I can do that this is probably one of my favorite books ever as well and I believe it was actually translated from French because Flavia Bejoa she's French so this was a translation from the original French novel into English so that we could read it I got this from a scholastic book fair because I remember seeing the cover and it just looked really cool I mean who doesn't want to read that book right like I want everybody to go read this because it's awesome even though it came out like 11 years ago wow yeah it was first published in France in 2002 so 11 years ago Woo! The last one, I've already introduced this series to you guys before, it is the Door Within Trilogy. I remember picking this up in middle school, and the fact that I got to meet the author and he worked with me for several years, um, storytelling-wise, he would email me back and forth with ideas and tell me, you know, like, oh, this part was good, this part wasn't, and every time that I got to, you know, go see him in person and he would sign the copies of my books, it just, it really helped me, it fueled the fire, and I actually still see him, you know, doing word challenges sometimes on Facebook, and I always mean to do it, but I've been in kind of a writing slump, however, I want to get back onto it. Anyways, this story itself is a very magical, fascinating one. It's about a boy named Aiden who discovers a scroll in his basement. Or no, maybe it's three scrolls. I need to reread this series. It's about a boy who finds these scrolls in his basement. And he reads them, and they take him on to this magical journey in this other realm. And he meets a girl, and obviously, you know, falls madly in love with her. Um, and he works his way up to become a knight for a king, and then they all go on this quest. It kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings, very slightly, but that's only because I know that the author really likes Lord of the Rings. But it's so good. It's so fascinating. It's so good. You know, I might just go read this now. I'm gonna go read this now. Tell me in the comments below what keeps you inspired to write, or tell me what you're writing about, or what books that you read, and maybe I'll read and review some of them. I hope I will see you guys soon. I'm sorry that I posted two videos in one day, but this is what happens when Marilyn calls for 6 to 12 inches of snow. Okay! Bye!